Alright. Is this recording? Yep, that's recording. Alright, guys and girls, so I'm just doing a quick video in 4K HDR with, I think, the stabilization modes on it as well. So you can actually see this entire sort of garden in a nice sort of view. This has got a built-in gimbal. Oh, look at that, guys and girls. Come on, fella. There we go. Yeah, it's just a bee. Right, so, this is Jill Dando's garden that I'm in. Look at that, loads of bees there, look. Loads of them. Oh, it's a dragonfly. <laughs> so this is in HDR, so I can get really close to these sort of plants to some degree. And a recording there. And just show you what's going on. That's down to the path there, that goes straight down. Okay, so I'm waiting for my little tripod uh, thing coming soon. Uh, next few days, I hope. All right, so there's little flowers. Okay, beautiful, beautiful garden. This is Jill Dando's garden. Now, I believe she was a reporter for the BBC. Um, yeah, obviously it says BBC Mercury. Um, and she was basically, I think she was killed at her own house, if I remember rightly, or somewhere along the lines. Due to someone trying to get at her or something, I think she was killed on her doorstep, if I remember rightly what I heard about it. And uh, I think she's been buried in Weston somewhere. At uh, Ebden, I think it is, Ebden Crematorium. But they did this memorial garden for her um, in Western Supermare in Grove Park. So this is Grove Park, this is in sort of the boulevard. Yeah, look at those little red berries up there. Look. Got some red berries just about around here. Actually, I don't know if I can get any closer. Right. There's some little leaves there, little flowers. Some uh, diff It's amazing. This garden is absolutely amazing. I, I think ground, the ones that are called ground force. I believe they're the ones that actually did this garden in her memory. I don't know who it was funded by. If it was funded by our uh, sort of town hall or not, or maybe a sort of like donations. Probably did it or something. Right. Uh, there's like a little archway. Nice little garden. Just going along here. But yeah, it's uh, oh, someone left their clothes there. Unless someone's been sleeping here for the night. So, I don't know, but... Anyway, let's have a look slowly. Look at that. Look at that nice sun just coming through there. This is a great camera. If you just want to start doing video logs like I'm doing at the moment. Um, actually, nice little plants here. Nice little beddings and all of that. That's pretty cool. A little bit of wind here, just blowing amongst the entire garden. Oh, I love these. 
Look at that. This is all in 4K, by the way, guys and girls. So this might be in a couple parts. So what are we in now? Five minutes. So we should be right. I think it's just under nine minutes. Then it turns off and goes on to part two or video two. <sighs> Nice little garden, by the way, there. Nice little bit of a shade here. Yeah. Nice little plants and little tree here, which has been put here. Absolutely amazing. Got some little, it's like bluebells just here. And uh, we've got, I don't know, is that dahlias or something? Look absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Just making sure because I'm using wide mode. They don't have like an ultra wide in 4K. So hopefully when uh, number 8 comes out of the GoPro. Hopefully they add that feature and also add 8K. Uh, like 30 frames or 60 frames that would be insane <laughs> 